Today's video is all about shared experience. What does that mean? Shared experience was born from an idea that I got from my friend Ed Tate. Ed is a certified speaking professional. He's also one of the best trainers in the world. Years ago, he taught me this important tidbit. He said, Michael, the answer is often in the room if you'll let it be. What does he mean by that? It means as presenters, we may be experts in our specific topic, but when we're speaking to a large group that's outside of our area of expertise, they may ask questions that you have no idea because that's not your world, but they're sitting amongst a group of their peers who do have the answers. So here's a quick example. Let's say I'm speaking to a group of medical professionals, physicians, about presentation skills to their peers. Well, I know all about presentation skills, but what if one of the doctors were to raise her hand and say, what would you do when talking to a group of oncologists about uh, a new medical procedure? Making that up, obviously. I'm not an oncologist. I don't know completely how they think, but there might be oncologists in the room or people who interact with oncologists. So don't try to figure it out yourself. Ask the group, what would you do in this situation? Put them in the chat box, maybe send them to breakout rooms, or you can often make that person a co-host and let them interact with you in the group. There are several advantages to this. First and foremost is you don't try to pass yourself off as an expert when the audience fully knows that you're just making things up. Okay, so you retain a professional level and you don't look like you're talking down to them. Number two, audiences love it when you allow one of them to be the star of the show. This is true in person or on camera. Number three, the whole audience benefits because they hear a perspective and they'll get a better answer than you could ever give. So never be afraid to share the screen with audience members. Now, you have to be careful. Always set this up, by the way. You don't want to just give somebody the floor or the camera for an unlimited amount of time. So you can say, all right, uh, Dr. Smith, I'm gonna promote you to co-host and let's take maybe 90 seconds to give us your perspective on this. Now, Dr. Smith may take two or three minutes. It's up to you to control that. So don't just make it open-ended, but let that person come on, share her expertise, his expertise. It helps the group. It elevates you in their mind because you're not trying to be the know-it-all. You admit that you know what you know and you're letting the experts have the floor. Try this, I promise everybody benefits and it makes for a more enjoyable experience, especially for the audience. See you in tip number 29.